Hey guys, it's Amandeep from Amand Graphics and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really good gaming logo for your YouTube channel. Now obviously if you have a gaming channel and you are a beginner, you will need to make graphics for your channel and obviously you'll start by making a logo because this will be placed on your uh, profile picture, your channel art and it will be the watermark of your channel. So. It's really simple to make this type of gaming logo and it's really famous amongst gaming YouTubers who start out. So if you are looking for something easy to make just to start off, um, this video should help you out. And if this does help you out and help your channel in any way, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as it will help support this channel a lot. Other than that, um, I'll see you in the next video. Let's start with the tutorial. Firstly, open up Photoshop. You will require Photoshop for this tutorial. Um, if you don't know how to get this for free, you can just look it up on YouTube. I won't be able to show you because it's against the community guidelines. So I don't want to risk my channel. But you can get the application for free if you do search it up. First of all, go into File, New. And make sure your width and height is 800 by 800. So width is 800 and the height is 800. So this is a square as you can see because the width and height are the same the same measurement You can name it profile picture. I'll just name it profile picture Or logo you can name it logo as well Make sure the resolution is 300 if you're going to print this But if you're not you don't really need to care about the resolution um, You can leave the rest uh, on its own, but make sure the color mode is RGB color as we are going to be using color Then go ahead and click on OK and you should see a blank white canvas or a transparent canvas uh, depending on your preferences. Um, I'm just going to double click in case I'm going to delete this. Then I'm going to go on Control Shift N and on this new layer I'm going to go on to the paint bucket tool and click on black, uh, choose black and make that my background. Then I'm going to delete this layer as it's useless now. Once I've got my um, black layer uh, this is going to be the background of the logo and now we can start creating the logo click on Control shift N at the same time and click on OK. This is our layer 2 shape uh, tool, the shape tool uh, Right click and click on ellipse tool then create a circle based on your preferences This looks like a good circle and make sure the stroke is on white and then the fill can be black or nothing because the background is black you don't really need the fill and then I'm just going to decrease the stroke by a bit then I'm going to click on Control T hold shift to keep the shape in proportion and then increase the shape size once I'm satisfied I can click OK and that's the circle um, I'm just going to go onto the move tool and place it in the center. So this looks like the center and that's fine. Once you're satisfied, you can go onto the text tool and choose a font of your preference. Um, whichever font you desire to use. Um, I'm going to use uh, maybe the bold font. The bold font. I'm going to change the color to something like light blue. Or maybe a blue like this then click on OK and then I'm going to go on Control shift N creating a new layer and this will be my text layer I'm going to type A because this is the uh, first letter of my channel so for example if your channel name is something like uh, Rex or Tom your uh, letter should be beginning with T or R uh, I'm just going to increase this by a bit and make sure the text is a bit bigger than your circle You want that to happen. That isn't a mistake. It looks like a mistake um, I'm just not satisfied with the circle then uh, Control a of the logo and as I said make sure that the text is larger than the circle for this effect to uh, take effect I'm going to rotate it by a bit, not too much. 
yeah something like that and maybe decrease it by a bit then i'm going to go into the move tool and drag it into position once i'm satisfied by how it looks um i'm going to add layer style to my um text go on to uh right click and blending options once you go on there uh you don't need to add a stroke because the only good stroke is the black one in my opinion and if the background is black there's not much point and anyway it doesn't look good in this type of logo go into the gradient overlay uh make sure you, your gradient is on the default gradient which is black uh, blending into white change the blend mode to overlay and decrease the opacity or opacity however you want to call it by just a bit and once you're satisfied with how it looks keep it and you don't really need to add a drop shadow maybe i'll just add one make sure it's not too visible maybe just a bit all right so once you're satisfied with that um you hold control and click on the text the t uh icon right here click on it then this will put the text to selection then you go on to uh, select modify and uh expand expand it by something like 10 pixels um maybe just a bit more select modify expand maybe by just five more pixels well that's 15 now and then you go on to the ellipse tool right click click on rasterize layer and then delete make sure you're selected on the ellipse tool then control and d then as you can see now the circle is um it has created a few gaps as if this was bigger than it was and on those spaces it has created gaps which makes the logo look really really good in my opinion it looks a bit like the allier logo but just a bit all right so once you're satisfied with that you might want to add a few uh blending option effects to the ellipse um, right click go into blending options and then you can add a gradient overlay to that as well i'm going to go on to this transparent one that creates like a metallic look to the circle and the text looks good on it so then you can merge the logo hold control and click on the uh, text and the ellipse and control e then control t and then increase the size of the logo or decrease it depending on your choice okay so now that is the logo you've created the logo now just to make the profile picture look a bit better um, you can create a light effect so Control shift n create a new layer go into the brush tool and then make sure white is selected then hold alt and scroll your scroll wheel downwards just to uh, zoom out and then hold alt and drag your uh, mouse to the left just to decrease and to the right to increase the diameter and radius of the brush uh, I'm just going to decrease it a bit more and add in a light just at the top maybe over here then you can decrease the opacity if you want and that just makes the logo look a bit better the profile picture Control shift n and maybe you might want to go on to the color and add in a bit of black around just to create like a so that's you can see that creates a bit of like a black effect then decrease the opacity of that just a bit as well and then your logo is made but just in case you thought that you would choose blue or pink and then you did not like that color you can change the color you don't need to repeat the whole tutorial again if you're not satisfied with the colors just go on to the 
uh, hue saturation option and choose between which color you prefer so if if you liked blue before but now you want a slightly pink logo then you can choose that or, or a slightly uh, green type logo and then you might want to decrease and increase the light in the image and the saturation as well so you don't really need to worry about uh, redoing the tutorial any changes you can use the adjustment options now if this did help you well be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as it does help support the channel a lot you can use this logo in your um, channel banner on your twitter on your all your social media so yeah i hope i helped if this video did help you out please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in my next video until then take care and peace out